to here. Now we're ready. And have we started? Oh, wow, we've already started. <laughs> Welcome to Bill Doobie Shopper. Today we're going to do uh, how to shop on goodwill.com. Uh, just a little something. This, this is an auction that I've recently won. And I'll show you some of the research that I did on it. This pen, for example, this DuPont drag, DuPont pen, which... Um, uh, I've seen it on eBay for as much as $200. That wasn't bad. So I only paid $76 for this whole lot here. Um, this pen here wasn't even labeled in the description. This is actually a bullet pen, a Fisher bullet pen. And I've seen them used for as much as $50. Well, actually close to a hundred, some of them, but the greedy people were hundred reasonable $50. This pen right here, custom made bullet pen. And that is a $50 pen new. The rest of them, they were all gravy. There's a couple of gold cross pens here that could easily be sold for 10, $15. So you can see I, there's total value. I mean, this one pen right here alone could sell and make the cost of the auction. Now, another couple of things to look at is you look at all of the pictures. You try to spot any um, defects in the pens. I think this is a Parker pen right here. We'll find out when I get it. It's either Parker or Schaefer, one or the other. Same thing with these two right here. They could be crossed. They could be... Uh, Parker, they could be generics. Now this one, this is a throwaway commodity, but it's worth money. It's a BMW pen that you would get when you buy an expensive BMW car because they could throw in the pen for free. Now this big one, I think I've seen one of these before. Uh, I seem to remember buying pens before. This I think is a, um, what do they call them? Christening pen where you would sign the papers or something, or maybe when you get married. This is a cheap pen, but it's worth a couple of bucks. And I had a little bit of a pen fanatic myself. All right, so we're back to pens. Let's uh, get that down a little bit so that we can, uh, let's get me out of the way so I can actually. Now let's look at another pen just here is a real reason why you want to go and look very carefully at pictures in any auction. But sometimes you get you get lucky, sometimes you don't. And move me out of the way again. Here. There we go. Right here. This pen is broken. Yes, they do sell broken stuff from time to time. I found out the hard way with a camera that I paid over $350 for. Actually, it was closer to $400 when it came because I had to pay tax and shipping and everything else. But my loss is your gain. That way you can learn from my mistakes. Let's see, where am I at? Favorites, that's not it. I want to get back to the pens that I was there before. There we go. Back to this lot of pens. Now, another thing that you do in research when you do auction research is you want to estimate, you get this shipping estimate. Before you make a bid on anything, get a shipping estimate. Sometimes the shipping estimate, and, and these are accurate. I mean, whatever it comes up as, that's what you're going to get charged. And I've seen them, if it's a heavy item, it can be in the hundreds of how much it's going to cost to ship it to you if they ship. Uh, a lot of times you'll see on the auction, like say it's a dresser or something like that, store pickup only. Now, bulk lot of pens, this is how I looked at this, 15 office pens, good pre-owned and normal use. Okay, so that says that there's 15 pens. What 
was the reasonable bid on this auction. Originally, I was going to go in at $200. And I decided you, you try to go in at, at something that's close to what you, you can, um, well, off, uh, actually what you can afford and what, what you can walk away from that auction feeling like, oh, I won. That's a big thing because, you know, auctions, it's competitive. You uh, really feel bad when you lose and you feel good when you win. But the thing is, then you like to have buyer's remorse and go, did I spend too much? <laughs> it's It goes, it, it's, it's human nature. Now, with this auction here, I think I came in with a bid of $100 at the last minute and a half, two minutes. And the reason why it was a minute and a half, two minutes is because I specifically remember my computer started giving me trouble. And I've had this happen in the past where all of a sudden you're not getting your information. And if you if you snooze, you lose. And if you didn't get your bid in, then you don't win. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I had a recent one recently that I lost because I didn't get my bid in because I was on the, uh, a conference call. Now, that said, when your bid goes in, you, you can also do some research. Uh, let's go back to this one because I'm not in on this one. You can do some research on the bid history and find out if you're if you're tracking and this is really important to you, you know, who's the bidder, who's the bidder and and what is their bid. You don't get the exact well time of the last bid, but this time is a little bit uh deceiving because um actually it's not deceiving at all. What am I saying? Um this person could be the lower bidder of this person. This person might have put a, a really high bid in there and uh, it's, well, not that high because $6.99. And bid increment, that's another thing to look at on the auctions. And that's pretty much it. Uh, how to do shop goodwill. And then you wait. Um, you'll get notified for shipping. You have to register with shop goodwill. It's really easy. I use PayPal when I'm on shop goodwill. And I hope this helps. Love you all.